Today, we're diving into the world of car sensors, the hidden heroes of modern automotive technology. Most modern car engines are equipped with an array of sensors that gather data to enhance engine performance, overall safety, functionality, and comfort. We've divided this topic into a four-part video series. In this first part, we'll discuss sensors related to the engine management system. The second part will cover all sensors related to body control. The third part will focus on sensors for brakes, suspension, and transmission. And finally, the fourth part will delve into all the sensors related to the ADAS system. The EMS collects data from various sensors and sends outputs to the spark plugs, fuel injectors, and other components to keep your engine running as effectively as possible. Let's break down all the sensors involved in the engine management system. These include the crankshaft position sensor, camshaft position sensor, engine coolant temperature sensor, oxygen sensor, mass airflow sensor, manifold air pressure sensor, throttle position sensor, intake air temperature sensor, knock sensor, vehicle speed sensor, and oil pressure sensor. We'll cover what each sensor does, how it works, where it's located, and what happens if it goes faulty. Let's start with the first and most important sensor, the crankshaft position sensor. This sensor is usually located in the crankcase over the toothed wheel on the crankshaft. The crankshaft position sensor monitors the piston's top dead center position and measures the rotation speed of the crankshaft. It counts the number of teeth on the crankshaft, sending this data to the ECU. The ECU uses this information to determine the exact position of the crankshaft and pistons and to calculate the engine's rotational speed. This sensor is crucial for engine timing and efficient fuel injection. If it fails, you might encounter several issues, such as check engine light illuminated, engine misfire, lack of power, intermittent stalling while idling or driving, jerking while driving, poor fuel efficiency. Now let's dive into the second essential sensor, the camshaft position sensor. This sensor is typically located in the cylinder head of the engine. The camshaft position sensor's task is to determine the exact position of the camshaft and valves. It operates similarly to the crankshaft position sensor, sending crucial information to the ECU for precise injection timing and valve opening or closing. If this sensor fails, you might encounter several issues, such as check engine light illuminated, engine misfire, lack of power, intermittent stalling while idling or driving, jerking while driving, poor fuel efficiency. Now, let's talk about the third sensor, the engine coolant temperature sensor. The ECT sensor measures the temperature of the engine coolant in the cooling system. This information is crucial for determining whether to delay or advance the spark timing and to adjust the fuel injector opening time. When the engine is cold, the ECM adjusts the fuel mixture to be richer than normal to prevent stalling and stumbling. And when the engine is warm, the ECM adjusts the fuel mixture to be leaner to maximize fuel economy and reduce exhaust emissions. The ECT sensor also controls the operation of the radiator fan. At high temperatures, the radiator fan runs at high speed to cool the engine and maintain optimal operating temperature. If this sensor fails, you might encounter several issues such as check engine light comes on, engine overheating, black smoke from the exhaust, radiator fan running continuously or not running at all. Now. Let's talk about the fourth sensor, the oxygen sensor. An oxygen sensor is an essential component in controlling the exhaust emissions of petrol, diesel, and gas engines. It measures the residual oxygen content in the exhaust gases. The oxygen sensor is typically located in the exhaust system of a vehicle. Generally, each catalytic converter has two oxygen sensors, upstream and downstream. The upstream sensor is situated before the catalytic converter. The downstream sensor is located after the catalytic converter. Both sensors send crucial information to the ECU. The sensor's readings help the ECU determine whether the air-fuel mixture is too lean or too rich. Based on this information, 
the ECU adjusts the fuel injection system to maintain an optimal air-fuel ratio for efficient combustion and reduced emissions. If an oxygen sensor fails, you might notice several issues, such as check engine light comes on, poor fuel economy, strong odors from exhaust, failed emissions test. Now, let's talk about the fifth sensor, the mass airflow sensor. This sensor measures the airflow into the engine and sends a corresponding signal to the vehicle's computer system. The signal generated by the mass airflow sensor is utilized by the car's computer, along with inputs from other engine management system sensors. Together, these sensors calculate the mass of air entering the cylinder to maintain a precise fuel ratio of 14.5.1. If an MAF sensor fails, you might notice several issues such as check engine light comes on, poor fuel economy, visible exhaust emissions may be observed, intermittent engine stalling. Number six, the manifold absolute pressure sensor or MAP sensor is a device situated in the intake manifold and is used to calculate the pressure of air going to the engine. It is very similar to a mass airflow sensor, which measures air mass flow, but a MAP sensor measures air pressure. The higher the pressure, the higher the air mass. Hence, more fuel can be used. This sensor helps the ECU determine the amount of air and fuel that needs to be sent to the engine. If a MAP sensor fails, you might notice several issues, such as check engine light comes on, poor fuel economy, visible exhaust emissions may be observed, intermittent engine stalling. Number seven, the throttle position sensor, or TPS, is a critical component that monitors the position of the throttle valve. The TPS is typically located on the throttle body. It measures the angle of the throttle valve and sends this data to the engine control unit. If a TPS fails, you might notice several issues, such as check engine light comes on, poor acceleration, hesitation or jerking when accelerating, unstable idle. Number eight, the intake air temperature sensor or IAT sensor is another crucial component in the engine management system. It measures the temperature of the air entering the engine and sends this information to the ECU. The IAT sensor is typically located in the air intake duct or the intake manifold. If an IAT sensor fails, you might notice several issues such as check engine light comes on, poor fuel economy, engine performance issues, such as hesitation or rough idling, increased emissions, difficulty starting the engine, especially in cold weather. Number nine, the NOx sensor is a critical component for engine management, designed to detect abnormal engine vibrations caused by knocking or pinging. These vibrations occur when the air-fuel mixture in the cylinder detonates prematurely, which can damage the engine over time. The NOx sensor is typically located on the engine block, cylinder head, or intake manifold. It works by converting the vibrations caused by knocking into an electrical signal, which is then sent to the ECU. The ECU uses the signal from the NOx sensor to adjust the engine's timing and air-fuel mixture to prevent knocking. This ensures that the engine runs smoothly and efficiently, protecting it from potential damage. If a knock sensor fails, you might notice several issues, such as check engine light comes on, poor acceleration and decreased engine performance, increased fuel consumption, engine knocking or pinging sounds. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow automotive enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth automotive diagnostics and repair guides.